Hey, what's up, Jojo in the morning family? I hope everybody is having a super good day. I got a little bit different day. I, I want to share with you a prophetic dream I had last night and that the Lord woke me up. In this dream, when it started, it was not the best scenario. I felt like oppression was trying to come up on me. And if you know me, I don't deal with that stuff. <laughs> and so I just feel like this oppression, this opposition was trying to come up, just come up on me. And then the Holy Spirit in the dream spoke and said, it's just not you. It's a lot of people that you know, and it's just not them. It's, it's the nations of the world. There is a huge oppression going on, suppressing from the enemy. And then in this dream, I just saw this, this vision of so many people who had just plots and plans and schemes that were not of God, that were suppressing. And in my dream, the Holy Spirit said, pray against it. And in this dream, all of these people coming against all of the people of the world were here. And in the dream, I remember looking up. And as soon as I started praying, it went shoo, that quick. What have I been talking about? Authority. Kingdom authority. And as soon as I started praying, it felt like one of those wild, crazy rides like, um, you know, at an amusement park or something. You just shot up. And I woke up and the Holy Spirit said, get up and pray. And man, I started praying. I started praying. I felt the joy of the Lord. I felt the peace of God. I, I just had this authority rise up within me. And what God is saying today is don't worry about oppression and fear that tries to come your way. Rise up in the power of the Holy Spirit. Know the scriptures. Read the word. You know, uh, a lot of times when, when you get a Bible, it says Holy Bible, Holy Scriptures. He is the Holy Spirit. Nothing can beat the holy. Nothing. It says eight times in Leviticus, be holy because I'm holy. You got to understand that when opposition comes against you to push you, to press against you. The enemy says to fight back with the word of God and praying in the spirit. Okay. Now, you know, I got to get some scripture on it. I can put scripture on everything. Psalms 20 and seven, some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will trust in the name of the Lord, our God. So what does that mean? A lot of people trust in natural things. Okay, natural things are good, but natural things are not God. Natural things are good, but natural things are not God. God makes a way where there seems to be no way. John 16, 33. I have said these things to you that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation. The Bible says it. You're going to have tribulation in the world. Trials, tests, tribulations. You're going to have them. I, I'm going to have them. It's just, it's in the word. And it says, but take heart. I have overcome the world. So when tribulation comes against you, since he's already overcame the world, what do we do? We rely on him. We fight by quoting the Holy Scripture. We fight with the prophetic words God's given us. And we overtake the enemy. And we walk in our God-given authority. Whew. I tell you, when I start talking about the Holy Spirit and the Word, I get excited. Psalms 50, 15 and call upon me in the day of trouble, I will deliver you and you shall glorify me. 
How in the world did you just get through that? God Almighty, I called upon the Lord and he answered me. He is my strong tower. He is my refuge. He is the one that I run to. When things look dark, he is the light. When I'm feeling oppressed, he delivers me. If my finances are struggling, he delivers me. If I'm feeling bad, he heals me. I'm telling you, he is the one that you need to call upon. Don't trust in horses. Don't trust in chariots. I'm telling you, you need to lean on the power of the almighty God. There are so many times that when good people give me good advice, if I'm going through something or, you know, people always try to say, hey, you know, if you're dealing with this, you should do this. If you feel bad, you should do this and this and this. I just look at them like, yeah, I got you. I hear you. You know what? Sometimes people take the advice they give me and they don't get better. <laughs> I'm doing okay. I'm doing all right. I was listening to Dr. Miles Monroe one time. He said something like that. And he said, I base my life off of the Holy Scriptures. And he said, a lot of people don't like the Bible. He said, I'm doing just fine in life because everything I need comes from the Word. Some of you need to understand that you got to push back against the enemy. The scriptures I just read you said you will face tribulations in this world. But it did not say that you would camp out there, that you would live there. Oh, they will come against you. But as quick as they came against you, they can get their tail right on up out of here. <laughs> you got to, I don't. I remember the other day, a few days back, I woke up morning, had a little, little sinus going on, a little, little sinus headache trying to come. I said, whoa, 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 uh-uh. Do you not know how much I got to do today for the kingdom? I got a full day. I got a busy day. I don't have time to have no sniffles, no sinus headache. I got to get up and straight go for it. I got to manifest the kingdom of God. I have so much that I have to do today. I do not have time to deal with this lot of affliction. So I got up. I started moving around. I started stretching. And all of a sudden, I started feeling good. And, and I went in there. And I start every day with a, a glass of water. We got this filter water. It's got the little filters. It's so good. It's so good. And so um, I, I drank a cup of water, a, a big glass, probably about 24 ounces every morning when I wake up. First thing I do, y'all, I get that water and I put it out the night before. I like it room temperature. I get a big drink. I just, I just feel good when I do that. And then I go over there and then I get some brown. Hey, this is filtered water. Do you know that? Mm -hmm. It's brown filtered water. I, I get me a cup or two of the brown filtered water while I'm praying the whole time. I just pray myself happy in the morning. I I, I get myself in the right frame of mind. I, I just get myself ready to go. Woo! I get excited. Sometimes I get so excited, I forget what I was talking about. Um, hey, Second Thessalonians 1 and 6. Check this out. Since indeed God considers it just to repay with affliction, those who afflicted you. When people do you wrong, don't think you got to come against them. God has you. God has you. He got you covered. And so whenever I'm going through something or somebody's coming against me in, 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 a, in a way, I call about five of my intercessors. I tell them what's going on. They say, don't worry about it. Go on about your day. We'll go to prayer. And God will take care of this. About five, ten minutes later, that oppression, that attack starts leaving. And I have actually felt bad for people who came against me because I knew what was coming their way. The Bible says, do not touch thine anointed. If you think somebody has a drop of anointing on them, don't say anything about them. Don't say anything about them because you just, that scripture will apply back to you. I remember I was talking to Pastor John Kilpatrick one time and 
I asked him to give me some life advice. I mean, I said, just give me a nugget, Pastor. And he said, you know, Joe, if you came to our church and you talked to all of our staff and you asked them, hey, tell me something John Kilpatrick said about somebody. Nobody could tell you anything. Because I do not talk bad about God's people. You may believe differently than me. You may, you know, interpret scriptures different. Mm -mm, I'm not talking bad about them. But that's good. That's good. You need to get your mind focused. I remember uh, a few months back, I had about four meetings one morning. Um, one was like face-to-face, -face, local, and the other three, I think like two were phone, one was Zoom. And and I was talking to, I had four, four appointments. And one thing I noticed was, first person that I, I started talking to, man, they gave me more energy than four cups of coffee. Just, I said, I asked this question. I said, hey, man, what's up? Hey, man, how's it going? And he went, Whoa. I tell you, my walk with God is so good. My marriage is great. My relationship with my kids are good. Man, I have multiple businesses. They're all thriving. I'm ministering to everybody. I mean, da -da 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 -da. I got three new ideas for new business. I'm funding the kingdom. I'm like, whoa, my goodness, you need a morning talk show. I was feeling good that day. I talked to him, and uh, when he gave me a chance to talk, I just like, man, you know, I'm blessed. And I just kind of talked about what God was doing, and he was like, man, that's awesome, bro. We all need a friend like that. And so, next person I talked to, I said, hey, how's it going? He's on the phone. They're like, oh, my church doesn't preach the word. True. I said, then why are you even there? My job, I know it's time to leave. I said, then leave. <laughs> you, and everything was down. And I just gave him a response back. If you know that ain't your right church, if you know you're living in the wrong city, if you know it's the wrong job, everything's bad, move and get in the right place in the right church. He was like, whoa, okay, okay, okay. He set himself up for opposition. But I spoke into his life and he started changing. Next person got on the phone. They were like, Joe, I got all this opposition coming against me, but I'm telling you, I feel breakthroughs on every corner. I'm putting scriptures. I'm sticky noting scriptures everywhere. I'm fighting. I'm believing. I said, oh, you're about to have a breakthrough. A few weeks later, they had massive, just huge, colossal size breakthrough. Next person I talked to, they were just like, you know, in life, I got opposition. I'm in an okay place in my life. But I'm leaned into God and I'm listening. I'm listening. And I said, that's great. You keep listening and when you hear move on it. Probably about, it wasn't instantly. It was a little, you know, almost like five, six weeks. They heard move. But they heard something and they moved again on it. And it just like God just kept just, just pushing them forward. All four of those were in different places. But I left super encouraged by all of them. One needed somebody to speak life into them to get them going again, jumpstart them, jumper cables. One was just 9-0. And the other two were waiting on God in the midst of some things. What I read you was we're going to all have tribulations. But the Bible never says we have to stay there. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. We did not walk through the valley of death. The shadow of death. Walk through it. Didn't pitch a tent. Didn't rent a hotel room. No. We just drove through it. My wife and I were going on a trip one time. It was crazy. It's a 16-hour drive, and we're flying, but all of our flights were getting canceled, and we knew we were supposed to be at this certain meeting down in Florida with uh, Apostle Ken Malone and Apostle Dutch Sheets. And so we were driving. We were about probably 11, 12 hours in, 
there was this crazy storm. And so we got looked on our phone, told my wife, I said, hey, here's the deal. We're, we're, we're at in the storm. We can drive about 20 more minutes in the storm and we'll drive right through it or we can stop. And so we decided to, to drive through it. Well, about an hour later, there was another patch of clouds came through it and we were right in the middle of it. And I said, hey, we can drive for about 45 minutes or we can pull over for about an hour. So we pulled over for a little while and, and it just took a while for it to pass. The one that we kept driving through it, we got through it a lot quicker than the one that we waited on to just pass. It just, no, no, I was, when I was moving, I got through it a lot quicker. So many times people, when opposition hits them, they stop. Do not stop. Keep going. Okay? You ever heard the story about the buffalo and the cows? Cows, when a storm comes, will try to hide. Buffaloes go head into the storm because they know because they know they'll get through the storm quicker if, if it's coming this way and they're going this way. I'm telling you, friends, opposition will try to rest upon you. Push back. Don't give in. Don't give any ground to it, but keep moving forward, okay? I hope this Jojo in the morning helped you. Encourage. I encourage myself with this video. You know what happens, or what I do a lot of times when opposition comes my way? First of all, I turn on Eddie James Breakthrough, and boy, I just get before the Lord. But I start speaking over my life, over my wife, my kids, our businesses, ministries. I just start praying. And I believe in that this opposition is going to go and break. So if you need prayer for this, go to the website, jojodawson.net. Go to the contact button. Send me a prayer request and I will pray for you because I love you guys. Hope you all have a super blessed day. Hey, a lot of people always ask me about our health coaching program, the health side and then the business side. Message me. I would love to talk to you about it. I love helping people to regain their health and I love helping people start businesses so they can prosper in life at a greater degree. Love you guys.